move to the key takeaway section. Gentlemen, most important thing you think people should take away from today's webinar, and we haven't heard from you in a few minutes, so Mark Giddens, I'm going to start with you. I think the first uh, key takeaway to me is, um, and what I'm hearing from people uh, when they ask us in our business what to do right now knowing of this, this change, um, we're just recommending that people start looking at their sales and looking at it in relation to all these jurisdictions. It's a great starting point to understand what the impact of these laws might be for you. Certainly, there's an opportunity to get educated on this. It sounds like everybody's doing that um, to listen to, to Richard uh, share his, his insights and in, in being really close to this, which I think is great. Um, but then there's also folks out there and consulting firms, accountants, and, and tax lawyers that can provide company-specific advice. So I think the key takeaway is start looking at your sales in relation to uh, jurisdictions, and, and you'll have a great, great place to start. Richard Cram. Uh, obviously, what we've been talking about most of the of my session was uh, physical presence nexus test uh, from Quill is dead now. So you've got to wake up to the economic nexus world where it's based on uh, uh, a sales volume primarily. And several states have already adopted that type of economic nexus standard and more are likely to do so this coming legislative session. So uh, stay tuned to that. The enforcement dates for those currently on the books are between uh, July 1 and uh, January 1 of 2019. And also this area of uh, states requiring marketplace facilitators to collect tax on behalf of their third-party sellers, that's also going to be a growing trend that uh, you should keep your eyes on.